This is the G3 Live Cars with Curves, and we're going to take a road trip to Houston Motorsports Resort in Angleton, Texas, a private racetrack that we're going to go visit and tell our viewers what we're going to see and experience. We're going in to visit the Radical Texas Race Team, and inside we're going to interview the owners and the drivers, and after that we're going to watch approximately 12 Radical cars racing. That is a mouthful. Oh, it is. It is. Come on, let's go to the track. Let's go. Come with us. This is G3 Live. This is Cars with Curves, and this is our first show that we're starting with the Radical Racing Team, Cup Racing Team, and all. And we have one of the owners here, and his name is John Pritzloff. Pritzloff. No. Uh, tell us uh, how, how you got into this racing team. Sure. We um, started about four years ago. The Ian Dawson and Simon Dawson and I went to Lotus Cars of England, and we wanted to take charge of sports car racing in the United States uh, for Lotus, which is a legendary car manufacturer and race car uh, assembler and, and we just have a, had such a wonderful time a wonderful experience working together when Lotus beca became uh, finan financially I'd say uh, you know they just did, didn't have the funds to keep going so about a year ago the Dawson's and I uh, said well what else can we do together got this wonderful distributorship and we run it out of Houston and we uh, spend a, a lot of time in Austin which is so much fun. Oh, uh, okay. oh is, the, is the racing circuit out? Yeah, yeah. Dri driving uh, Circuit of the Americas, one of, one of the best tracks in the world and uh, we have people fly in, get in their cars and drive and fly out. <laughs> and you can't beat it. Yeah, no. Uh, now, now, Snow's going to ask you about your helmet. Yeah. Okay, so what, what what about this? This is fabulous. Yeah, this um, is a Prussian War Eagle from 1839 that I found on a flag uh, on the internet. Um, my name is Satya Pritzlaff and I've been having a great time here at the track with my husband John. It's definitely a fun day and yesterday was a wonderful day too. Now I understand that you're a racer yourself. I try to be. <laughs> so, cool. yeah. That is just the coolest thing. While you're at work, she's out racing. Is, that, is this right? <laughs> well, that would Not be a good quite. idea. Yeah. That would be a good idea. <laughs> she, she uh, no, she's very accomplished. She has been to a lot of driving schools. We've been to um, Audi in Barcelona at the right. Formula One track okay. in Spain. Uh, we've did you did you get on that track there? I did, yeah, and it was absolutely fantastic. Ooh. And then with the uh, Aston Martin driving school in England. Oh, no way! Yeah. Oh, oh that's so amazing. awesome. Yeah, we spent three yeah. days with Aston Martin uh -huh. uh, at the new factory in Gaydon, the old fat factory in Newport Pagnell, and then at right. the Millbrook testing grounds. Oh, uh, now I tell you what, we're going to break away here and go look at some of the cars that John drives over here. And we'll show you the cars. Let's we'll do, do that. Let's do. Meet us over. Here, are these guys are going to take the cover off the car of John's. Check this out. Yes, exactly. Oh my goodness! Like a monster. Is this a, a twin turbo six? No, this is a four cylinder. Oh, four cylinder. Okay. And this is Darren. Hi. Is, uh, a master mechanic for. M <laughs> and a great guy. Oh, great go guy, ahead. Great Take, guy. That yeah, yeah. Take that Takes care of our cars for us with Kagan over there. And um, yeah, you, man. you can go outside, run around, and never think that anything's going to go wrong. It's just, it's he says that now. Yeah, yeah. He says it now, you know. So this one is a Ford 2-litre turbo. It's the same engine you get in your Street Focus ST. So it's got a small turbo on it, and it makes about 300 horsepower. So yes. So so what it is? It's a production engine in a race car. With production means you drive on the horsepower. street. Yeah, yeah. So Radical themselves get hold of the engine and they they go to town on the internals and make it a little bit more powerful, a little more, more reliable for the race spec car. Right. Revs a little higher than street car would, um, and it has a little less boost than a street car. But being so light, it doesn't actually need it. It has a six-speed quave paddle shift system on the back end, so it puts. Oh, so the, 
It's about 700 kilograms. Oh. 2,200, remember? Yes. Wait, so how much? That 2200. Yeah. There you go. So it's a lot less than 2200. It's oh really? Yes. It's a, is it 2.2 to a pound? 2.2 pounds. Yeah. yeah. To so it's 1400 pounds. Oh, 1400. That's real light. Oh, it's super so light. Power to weight ratio. It's very good. You could get a, a family Chinese in there. It'd still be light. Yeah. You can go Walmart. <laughs> and this thing will do naught to stick three seconds. Woo! That's quick. Yeah. Wow. That's that's Bugatti fast. That you know, is that's way Bugatti fast. fast. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a high downforce car as well, so it produces a lot of downforce on the corners. This is where the lap times come from, because you can actually produce G-force inside the car. So the drivers will experience G-force in their body, like a person in a fighter plane would. Yeah. You, you're into it, and also, yeah, you're trying to trying to move around inside your car, which is why you're strapped in so well. And so you would get about a thousand pounds of downforce. Yeah. Oh, that's, 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 a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. In wheel you have paddle shift system and then three ECU settings, depends on the weather. So you have wet, which takes a bit of power away from it, makes it a little bit more drivable. Right. Because this car has no traction control and it has no ABS, it's all on your right foot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah so <laughs> On your right foot. Yeah. Um, then when it's dry and you just want to tootle around, you'll put it into sport mode. And then when you really want to get on it, you'll flick it onto race mode and okay. that'll turn it full ball to the to the wind and your paddle shift system is a lot more aggressive and faster then as well. Right. Now John, let me ask you. They're fixing to do their time trials. As you see, David is pulling ahead of Satya, and I don't think she found the gas pedal yet. I believe Satya found the gas pedal because if you look on the back straightaway, she is ahead of David, her husband. This is all good. Sydney here, he was on the, we got him on the track a while ago and uh, tell us about how your uh, lap times were doing around the, the, the laps. Uh, after the first, uh, first 10 to 15 laps, you know, got, got more acclimated with the track again, uh, obviously after the rain. Some parts are a little more slippery, some parts are, and um, kind of surprisingly, some parts were a lot stickier. Uh, and then after probably about 15 to 20 laps in, the whole track was pretty sticky except for maybe one or two corners. Really? So it was it was actually a great great track day, yeah. Good deal. Now, now on the straightaway, when you're getting on the straightaway, how fast are you going on, like, on the straightaway? Um, I think at the end of the straighter, I'm probably doing 125. That's pretty like quick. That. Yeah, that's wow. pretty quick. Oh my goodness. So I understand that y'all are doing like 133, 134, lap, one, a minute, 34 seconds, yes, 30 yes, yes. Two rim yeah. laps. That's fast. Yeah, that yeah. is real fast. Cause now, Dennis, blow your hair Dennis back. is car. Yeah, I will. <laughs> it broke your hair back, yeah. yeah well. Now, Dennis' is car was like, uh, what do you say, 1,300 pounds? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. And your car is. Same, same, same thing. Oh, it's yeah. same. Our, our cars are pretty much identical. It's super light. Yeah, like, uh, it's like sh she's just imagining herself in the car. <laughs> right now. Sitting right there. <laughs> yeah. It's true. But we noticed some of the, uh, the closed uh, radical cars, mm -hmm. uh, the closed canopy and all, they do have air conditioning. 
Yes, so, yes, they yeah. can have air conditioning. Yeah. Okay, tell me something about the, the engine. Uh, it's unique in the sense that um, it is a motorcycle engine. It's actually a high ablution motor. Really? It's a 1500 cc uh, engine. Um, puts about 260 horsepower. Uh, and it's, it's, it's much different than driving anything else just because it's So let's go look and see what Sydney's doing on the track. Dennis, uh, he just ran. What'd you run? Tell me about your car. Sure, this is a Radical mm -hmm. uh, SR3. It's about 1500 cc motor, and we ran a, a 134.3 in it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No windshield here. No windshield. That makes for a really bad hair day <laughs> for me. You were out there on track. I saw you hauling ass around the track, and all. you were racing. Uh, Sydney and John and a few others, right? Oh, okay, so that was good competition right there. It was. As we are interviewing Dennis, we're cutting away to show you Dennis coming around the track fast. engine that y'all put together this is a uh, six or eight this is a v6 this v6. is a standard radical engine they all all these cars are built by radical in the uk so the owner's spec so when you order a car and buy a car off radical it'll come with the engine you choose right so this is a 3.5 liter v6 twin turbo this the is what they call the radical rxc 500 this is their newest model out um and this is that's a, gorgeous this has air condition it's gorgeous <laughs> That's now, prettier than most girls in it around here. <laughs> <laughs> now, I understand... It's the EcoBoost engine. But again, radical performance engines get right. hold of it and do their tuning tune and tweaking right, right, and right. the internals themselves. Oh, okay. That, that's a lot of... That is really oh, my goodness. One. Now, what a, now this it. other black one coming across over here, this other black one... This is a, a gentleman from... This is a gentleman from Los Angeles who drives us on the road. And we are just doing some uh, maintenance work on this car. Now, I understand this one drives on the road, too, because it ha actually has license plates. Manufacturer's plates. No way. Yeah, yeah he drives it to the all 63 car. Uh, tell us a little bit about this one. The, this is uh, another RXC, and this is um, owned by the, uh, uh, the, the owner of the RWB Vodka, which is one of our sponsors for our racing. And this is a, a f high end. My multi-distilled, very pure, wonderful vodka, and we no, we we don't run it in the gas tank. We run it. <laughs> I in was a, wondering. Yeah. I was wondering about that fact. Yeah. Now, now, where where is the vodka company out of? Oh, you this is, it's it's from Houston. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that makes it all the better. And oh, 63 is a good year. Okay, now, Snow, you know we're going to have to go to Vodka and inter interview those guys over You've got there. to, you got to yes. go yes. see them. Yes. <laughs> Life is hard. Yeah, they're, good, they're, they're good folks, and and uh, they've been a wonderful partner for us to have. And uh, Now, we're here talking with Ian and Simon. Ian is like one of the partners here? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Okay, for, for a minute or two, just at least to today. Well, yeah, somebody might, somebody might get rid of me at the end of the day, so it's, uh, you know, we'll, no, we'll see how that works. So, no, that's not uh, going to happen. So Simon here is the marketing guru of the company, is that right? Or One of the partners as well for the company, part, along okay. with John and Ian, and uh, look after all the marketing and help the drivers as well with uh, if they need anything from for physical performance, because we have a human performance part of our business too. So Excellent. like one of our guys today had a little bit of a bicep cramp, so we sort that out for him as well. Um, you know, these cars, they get hot, so. Oh, so so y'all run a masseuse out there real quick. Massage his legs so it won't it's, be cramped. It's, you know, we just, you gotta kinda, we probably need to bring someone else in for that, but it's, you know, we make sure they keep going. That would not be me. <laughs> <laughs> the the yeah. yeah, I hear that. You know, now. Yeah, so we just try to cover all bases with everything, really. Right. Now, how often are you here in town? 
Well, I, I run, I come in into town uh, generally for two to three weeks at a time. We we keep a very close link with Radical in the, in the UK where all these cars are built. Right, right, right. Um, so, you know, we're the uh, importer, dealer, manufacturer representative in, in Texas and, and generally the southern states that connect to it. So okay, okay. Trying to build that up. So Simon's here permanently. We have a couple of our guys are commuting at the same time and we have a shop in the UK as well, which, and our business is but is radicals. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. What we focus exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Is that right? The only mishap, really. No, is they'll go out two more times today. Oh, um, they will? Yeah, they'll have oh. two more times. Oh, wow. Um, is that we're doing time trial format oh, okay. this for this this season. And we're probably the last race of the season will you'll probably have a full-on race. But at the moment, it's just about getting as many customers out here as possible, finding out where all the cars are in our precinct, you know, what we look after with Radical right. Texas. Um, and each each time we're on track, it grows and grows. Um, you know, every, we're at COTA, the Circuit of the Americas in Austin, the big F1 track. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. We're there once a month uh, for about two days. And then here we have, you know, they have the ability to go out whenever they want, really. Um, so these customers would come down and say, hey, I'd like to go out tomorrow. Can I come down? And we're all here. Oh, so and yeah. you just, you, yeah, you just you go out car. with it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we prep the car for them and then they can just go out. Oh, and, that's, you know. that's, a, that's awesome. Yeah, so you have member days that they can come out in. And that's all part of their kind of, like, annual, you know, monthly fees. So they, they kind of have a membership. Right. And that kind of takes right, right. care of their oh, okay. servicing and everything yeah. like that. All they do is if they need parts, which these cars are very, as much as they look impressive, they're very cost effective to run. Oh, very that's good. That's good. Yeah. Because of the car that you drive to Austin. Right here, the blue and white one. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be cost effective. <laughs> yeah, we worked out we got 20 miles per gallon yesterday. So we you did? Yeah, so we were quite happy with that. Wow. I think people forget, you know, that no, Radical, Radical is, you know, it's a, it's yeah. one of the largest or the largest racing car manufacturer in the world. Oh, really? And here in the U.S., it's, um, it's super light. trying to get What's its to growth get? business is really important. And, uh, you know, they're very fast cars. They're a lot of fun, as Simon said. Um, a lot of professionals drive them, gentlemen. Women drive them, they get into the cars, they're very easy to drive, but so you've got to have a little bit of fun at it, you've got a bit of entertainment, but out of it, you know, we're here to do oh, yeah, competitive yeah. running, and uh, as Simon said, we're running a time trial event because some of the people who are new owners of the cars actually haven't raced before, so now they're getting wheel-to-wheel -wheel experience, they're learning about things, and so it's not just owning a car, it's developing the skill. Right, so, right, right. You know, and we're starting to see some really, um, you know, fast people coming out of something that they perhaps wouldn't have done in the past. Now, what's nice about these cars, they're, they're gorgeous to look at, and also, Y'all have made them to where they're light. I mean, light. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean they are. I mean they're a, they're they're a very light car. I mean they're they're very nicely made. No weight. And like, they're no weight. I mean they're a lot of the guys uh, that own these cars now have had Ferraris or Porsches or Lamborghinis mm -hmm. and uh, they're, they're heavy. Very heavy. Very they expensive are. to run on track days. And these cars actually probably one third of the cost. Yes. Probably twice as much fun. Well, yeah, yeah. And that's a good thing. And, and doing this here now, we're based on a circuit. As Simon said, the idea is that as ownerships develop and right. people get involved, they can use the car more often and they can get out on track and uh, have a bit of fun. Maybe they can yeah. come here yeah. twice a week or once a week. And, you know, we go to Austin, as Simon said, which, you know, is top circuit in America and uh, a super venue to go to. And... Uh, we're hopefully announce uh, soon that we're going to uh, host the uh, Radical World Championship round in October, which radicals from around the world will get invited to. It'll be so here. It'll be in Austin. Oh, 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 oh I can drive yeah. there. So can you drive there? All? Can all, you drive? All there? No, you can drive me. Yeah. <laughs> all of our customers are all building to going to be hopefully building towards that, and they're going to be a great spectacle. Oh, that's going to be so awesome. Oh, that's. I would love to see that going on. Yeah. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm there. We're, we're there. I'm there. I'm, I don't know where you are, but I'm there. <laughs> now, a, t a time limit, a year from now, year, two years from now, or something like that? Approximately? Well, you know, our target at the beginning when we when we established ourselves here was to have 20 cars running. Right. You know, we now see 16 cars in Texas. And, Ooh, uh, that's a lot. You know, we've got 12 cars here, and we've got eight cars running. You know, so we it's just getting people's businesses and... The, their time that they spend uh, able to have a calendar, make the time available right, and right, all get right. out together. So, right. you know, we're pretty confident that by the next time we come back here to MSR Houston, right. which will be in August, we should have 15 cars. 15? And, yep. And in August. So, you know, that'll be really good. So now yeah, yeah. the whole spectacle and it's a standalone series at that point and you've got radicals racing with radicals and, yes. you know, and that? that's good. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. In August. In August. That's right. I'm so here. <laughs>
<laughs> Got that right. Uh, I tell you what, we're fixing to get out of here. Ian, it's been a pleasure. Great. Thanks you very much. You gave us so Appreciate much information to go by. Thanks and Simon? Yes. Great. Thank Thanks you so is. much. Thanks, Simon. Thank you. Thank Cheers. you, Ian. Hey, great. Thank you. All right. Talk to you later. Sounds like you don't have a quick release steering wheel, but you have the. A uh, quick release um, seatbelt straps. And so I can just quickly get myself out, change my lipstick, brush my hair, change the clothes, yep. do yep. the hair. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That'll work. There we go. Yeah. And every day. Hello. <laughs> I'm right yeah. here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> And it's the same engine as my husband John's car, so it really is fast, and it sticks to the corners, and so I, um, I just have to be careful and drive as fast as I can. Yes. So Good in other words, you. You, wanna, you don't want to grow your hair way too long, then it'll be flowing out the... Yeah, and it might get caught in the wheels. <laughs> Sucked into the air box. <laughs> that would not be good. Oh, no, true. that would not be good. Yes. Like this. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mommy, mommy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> My pigtails are too tight. <laughs> now, what, uh, as you've been racing this, well, trying the car out yesterday, uh -huh. what, what do you notice differently from other cars that you've driven? Uh, that it really does stick. It's so low to the ground, and uh, the aerodynamics of the vehicle are just incredible. Um, so driving that as opposed to driving the Audi R8 or the Aston Martins, you can go fast, and it holds the corners, and um, you, you know that you can just rely on the fact that it's going to stick, and it's going to hold it around the corner. So, so you don't uh, have to worry. It's an awesome, awesome racing uh, team here, and it's like... You're part of it, and it's John's part of it, and owner and all, and it's like uh, we, we're going to see more and more uh, from the Radical team as we go along with our show and all. And th John, thank you so oh, much. You bet. Well, as we grow, we'd love to have you here and uh, give you the first-hand experience of the Radical experience when we get new toys to play with. Oh, good. I like well, that. Because we'll, we'll, everybody wants to know the new toys. <laughs> well, you know, that's the whole thing, is that the, the boy with the most toys at the end wins. That's right. Is that right? <laughs> that, could, that could be right, yeah. <laughs> so fun and fabulous, and girls get to do it too. That's, well, that's right. right. There you go. There you go. So yes. this is our show for today, and did you enjoy yourself today? I sure did. This is fabulous, and I want to drive this. How are we going to end the show? We're going to end it right now. Yep. <laughs> See ya. See ya.